In this episode, it's on to making all of those V-Birth lining panels. In order for this bottom piece to fit, it needed to be curved. This second one is definitely proving easier. Homes are just so much easier than boats. It all just takes so much longer with a boat. So that's nine parts which make up all the lining for the V-Birth, including the cabin sole. It's always good getting big pieces into the boat. This is the next lining for that v -birth. Oh yeah! Some jobs go quickly and other jobs tend to be fiddly and you just tend to go back and forwards a lot. Those who have made anything, I'm sure you understand. This little bottom strip here comes into that category. Fiddly, just in and out with that. The reason is because the whole shape of it, because the bow has a curve to it, if the two ends were on the same plane, this would be a straight edge, but they're not. There's a chine and there's a slight change in angle. For that reason, when you push the centers out, that means that it creates a curve. And so, although the bottom of that top one I left straight, because it lined up nicely on the frames where they changed at the chine joint, in order for this bottom piece to fit, it needed to be curved because of the curve of the hull. I've probably lost some people but the short story is it was a lot of fiddling around to get that curve right mainly on the top because the sort of capping that I'm going to put across there to hide that join. The bottom was not as of a concern because that's all going to be hidden by the mattress and also I'm going to have a foam seal under there as well. Yes, so it was. It was just one of those jobs. Now on to the other one. <laughs> well, a good thing about having spent so much time getting that first one right is this second one is definitely proving easier. The curve of that template is right. So this is a piece of lining for up in the V-berth and it's going to be in an area in the back of the cabinet, so unseen. That's why I'm electing to use just that lower CD grade marine ply. This one's had a few little chops and additions and a 10 degree cut along here. So I'm about to take it in and see how it fits. Fingers crossed, but I'm also hoping I've got four pieces to do up in that V-berth that are going to be behind cabinets, of which this is one. So I'm hoping that I can skip through these fairly promptly by comparison to those main pieces that are going to be seen. So let's see how that goes.
Well, just to point out here with this lining going in, it reminded me in a prior work life where I was in the building industry, I actually built my first home with my own hands. Same point, and I'm sure a lot of people have had similar experiences, whether it's building a cubby house, building a kennel for your pet, or building a house. With those sorts of structures, things, even if they're not completely level, they're often on a flat plane. It's a two-dimensional shape that you're trying to build to. The point being, homes are just so much easier than boats. And where the problems come with boats and why things take so much longer in time is because it's complex curves. You know, you're going up the hill, there's an angle to that. It also has a curve that way and often a twist in the curve. And this is where I'm at at the moment with this here. And it's fine, it's, it's not troubling. I don't have any problems as such. However, as I was saying, it all just takes so much longer with a boat. I'm taking the measurements off for here and it just looks like it should be a simple case of a rectangle and measure the edges and there you go, but it just doesn't quite work out that way. I've noticed that with making, I've made the other one up for the other side also. And yeah, they just don't work out like you think they're going to. Hence why I still prefer to use templates. So I've got the fit fine and you know, there'll be bits of trimming over joins and it'll all look good in the end, especially when it's all painted. They're not simple rectangles, would be the short story. <laughs> I'll just explain how I make a start with cutting up one of these templates for a shape like that lining that I was just talking about. So what I've done is I've used the bevel to take off the angle at one of those corners. As I say, just using the bevel, using this as the starting edge. Put the bevel on mark out the angle of where this piece of lining will fit against that main bulkhead and then I'll just continue that down. The next thing I'll do from my little sketch is get the next measurement. We go 610 down from that corner and now I can measure from that point across 841 I like to use the 100, even though this is only a rough template, but it's a habit. I use the 100 and you just have to remember to add, up, add 100 whenever you're measuring things. 841 is off the edge, so that's not great, but I'll guesstimate where that point is out here in line with the top of that. This is gonna get my template in the ballpark. Another thing to say is that with the circular saw, I'm actually setting that at a 10 degree angle when it comes to cutting the edges. And the reason is because as you can imagine, the hull being on an angle to the bulkheads like that creates an angle on the sides of all of these lining panels when it comes to the forward end of the boat because there's such a curve and so instead of just cutting the panels with a 90 degree angle in which case you know they don't fit snugly against the edges of the bulkheads i'm cutting a 10 degree angle easy to do just a matter of loosening two bolts my circular saw is so old that the knobs which it used to have on here plastic knobs break off so now i'm down to using spanners anyway it's just a matter of loosening two bolts as a scale on this part of the table here and yeah i'm just taking that down to 10 degrees lock off the nut both ends 
using a shifting spanner which I don't normally do but my 10 mil spanners in mistress so that's set up for 10 degrees probably see the slight difference in the table there So here's a perfect example here. <laughs> that panel that I've just been working on, this is the starboard forward V berth here, and it's that panel below. Now, to the best of my abilities, I had everything right, the template was even good, but when you come to putting in the panel, with all these complex curves, See, that's about probably 20 millimetres too high there. And you can see that tapering gap. This side is lined up and fits at the top. So, yeah, it's just not so easy now it's not a big problem what i'll do is i'll actually make a mark here and i'll taper that off to that other end so that i'll get the top right i'll also take some out of this because this also won't go back you can see it's hitting the bulkhead so this needs a wedge shape out of it as well which when both of those tapers are taken out it should slot down and for those who might wonder whether if I got it upside down or the wrong way around, you can see I mark it with a T being for top, or sometimes I write top for that exact reason. So after trimming that, that fits better. It's probably two mil a little bit narrow on each end there to be perfect. But, as you can see, it's lined up and none of this is going to be seen and all of the edges of these lining panels need to have moulding fixed to them so that they can actually fix to the bulkhead. So this panel here will have a bit of batten fixed to it, fixed and glued permanently. The screws will go in that way to fix the panel to the batten and epoxy glued but then it'll have screws going through the batten this way into this main bulkhead here and then the same on the other side and that'll be true of all the situations where these lining panels come up against bulkheads and so as I say, you're not going to see any of that whatsoever. It's just that to be nicer, it would have been good to have it about probably two mils wider. But there's the challenges and we'll press on.
So that's nine parts which make up all the lining for the V-berth including the cabin sole. So nine parts all made up, now sanded up and tomorrow I'll begin the epoxy painting process. I'll do two coats on each side and three on the edges and then as soon as they're finished they can be mounted. I'm looking forward to that. Stay tuned next week everybody where the good progress continues. Now that all of those panels are made for the lining, moving on to making up a whole bunch of battens. What I want to do is put some timber beams down this centre line. Piece of lining in the for up. So this is a far out. Up. Um the heck are you saying? Please like subscribe hit that bell and share i'd really really appreciate that far from rules how to feel it we know that fast isn't always